Liam asks Hope for a divorce. He tells Wyatt that he has so many regrets. Then he leaves to go to Steffi's. Then he tells her that he's moving on with his life. He asks Hope for a divorce and he kisses Steffi again. Now, how in the world is this justified? But hey, y'all, welcome back to another review. Like, a chance this for the bottom beautiful June 30th, 2023. Okay, so Hope was begging for Liam's forgiveness. Just started begging him. This man asked for a divorce. And I said, look, I understand because she cheated. She cheated, in it, but at the same time, considering you slept with the same woman you just went kissed a second time look i don't know y'all i don't know i'm conflicted about this because i understand because hope did cheat and she does have feelings for thomas and she didn't think about liam and she was out in the open so technically <laughs> technically it's worthy of a divorce at this point because yeah she didn't care she didn't care until she got on that jet and they was gonna get ready to go back home but yeah, she's begging begging Leon for forgiveness. Steffi tells a uh, fan that maybe Leon... Look, Steffi had a lot of time to tell. They said that on today's episode, Steffi was going to prove her loyalty and everything. I ain't see her prove her loyalty at all. But yeah, um, Hope begging for forgiveness. Steffi tells Finn that maybe Leon can't forgive her. All the time you spent talking about Leon and Hope and Thomas, you could have told this man that Leon kissed you. Now you got to explain it again because he just kissed you a second time. She, look i don't know y'all but yeah um Steffi's telling finn about maybe leon can't forgive her Steffi feels bad for thomas leon thinks that hope gaslit him for months that she she knew she had feelings for thomas i said well technically she did technically she did i said i don't know if she gaslit him for months but she definitely been gaslighting him lately she definitely has because she knew she was like even during that whole interaction right there when he was asking her about Rome and everything, and she'll like try to talk over him or change the subject, and he wasn't having it. So, yeah, she definitely did. But, um, Hope apologizes again. Leon said that he's tired, and he said he don't think he can forgive her. But he told Hope he's gonna leave, but he wants a divorce. Look, he they the way they brought that out, he said that so smoothly. He said he wanted a divorce. I said, Ooh, people said that, and they said he's gonna fight for custody of Beth, he gonna try to get full custody of Beth. But, yeah, Leon told Hope he's going to leave, but he wants a divorce. Um, Steffi had plenty of time to tell Finn what happened, but she didn't. RJ stops by to see Hope and want to know what's going on. Leon says that when Bill gets back, he's talking to Wyatt. He tells uh, Wyatt that when Bill gets back, he's moving in with him. Look, he's so over it. Look, (laughs) you can tell by his facial expression, he was just over it. You can tell by how he was talking to her yesterday, he was over it. But I feel like he was over it. Um, remember when she first had told him that she was going to hire Thomas back or Thomas was coming back or she was considering it or whatever she told him. And he was like, he just don't, he said, I just don't know. I just don't know or whatever. And he was talking to her. I said, is he saying he going to give her a divorce? That's it. And that's when she changed her mind, said she wasn't going to do it. And then she went to the office and hired him back anyways. But yeah, he right though. She did. She been having these feelings for a very long time, but he didn't see it. He didn't see it because he still got his own little feelings for Steffi. Like you can't talk. He, look, and he said, one kiss too many. He said, you kissed him, and now I'm out. But you slept with Steffi. Then, after you slept with her, and y'all know if y'all been listening to my reviews for this long, for as long as I've been doing this, I said, when they did that episode, I said, after they found out that it was a mannequin and everything, Steffi and Liam both sat there and talked about how they were almost together. They said, we was almost together. And I said, well, what? what? <laughs> and then... They was begging their partners back and stuff, but they, at the same time, they was telling each other, they stood there, just talking about how much they love each other, how they was almost together, and all, and all. So I was like, okay, but I feel like Steffi going to tell him that she don't want him back, but at the same time, like, that's going to look bad because she didn't tell Finn, and now she got to tell him that he kissed her a second time. Look, but I don't know. She might still have feelings. I think we, we all know that she's going to always have feelings for Liam. I had asked the question, do y'all think this is a double standard? Because I see all the time on social media, they talk about how men can dish it, but they can't take it. And in regards to Leon, you know, he divorced and hope over a kisses, over a kiss. <laughs> but he slept with Steffi. Then he just kissed it. He didn't tell her, look, the perfect ending to him before he said he wanted a divorce. He could have hit her with that. And I kissed Steffi and then left. I mean, then said he had wanted a divorce and then left. That would have been perfect. That would have been perfect. But when he took, when he was told why he had those regrets, I said he finna go to Steffi's. He finna go to Steffi's, and she should have told. Finn need to come back and see it. Look, hopefully they don't sleep together, but we'll see. But um, do y'all think that's a double standard? 
because they said that men can dish it, but they can't take it. But I said, regardless of that, she still cheated, and she did does have feelings for Thomas, and she was walking around like she didn't have a care in the world. She knew Ridge was there. She knew Steffi was there. She knew her mama was there, and they was all watching her, but she they hold her hands. They chilling and stuff, sipping tea. <laughs> I'm going to keep saying that. <laughs> they chilling, sipping tea. Holding hands in public. All these cameras on you. Everybody running up, want to take pictures and stuff. I said pictures. Want to take photos of Hope Logan and all that stuff for hope for the future. And you walking around holding hands. Look, I don't know. But uh, I said, look here, on this show, wait, before that, I said that why thinks that that Leon just needs time. Um, but Leon tells why he tired of Thomas occupying so much space in regards to hope. He just tired. He over it. But yeah, Lim, why I was trying to convince him that it's just, you just need time. You just need time. But I said, no. I said, look here, kisses be landing these folks in tough spots. Remember when Leon and Sally kissed? And that's what led Steffi to go sleep with Bill? Look, it's a never ending cycle on this doggone show. But yeah, um, why has hope that everything gonna work out? But Leon says his marriage is over. He done. Hope tells RJ that she just got caught up in the moment. She kissed Thomas and everything. I said, look, that's awkward because he's siblings with both of them. That's his sister, but that's also his brother. <laughs> but yeah, uh, she trying to explain herself. And Leon says that he has so many regrets. And that's when he leaves to go to Steffi's talking about moving on. He's like, he's like, I'm moving on. Don't you know she's still married? That's so disrespectful. See, they should have nipped that in the bud from the jump. Because he, the way he was walking in the doggone house without knocking or anything, not just knocking, waiting until somebody said you could come in or whatever. I said, I knew it was going to be a problem. So he kisses her again. I said, you do know this is, she should say him straight, matter of fact. Because remember last time he was going through something with Hope or thought he was because of the mannequin situation. And he just up here kissed her and they stuck together. So hopefully she don't fall for that crap this time. But we got to wait and see. But that's it, y'all. Let me know down below what y'all thought of this episode. Stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And until next time, do this. Have a great weekend and be safe. Check out our store through the link in the description of the Day Young Learn account. We offer our version of a self love digital greeting card for a dollar, starting at a dollar. Solo messages are encouraging messages designed to inspire you based on multiple topics. This topic right here that you see covers believing in yourself. This is a digital product, so it will be available for immediate download after purchase. You can check out an example of the messages through the photos included on the website. Again, the store link is in the description, available for immediate download after purchase.